Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to start to introduce our measures of spread, also sometimes called measures of variation. In general, these are measures that describe the level of variation found in a data set. So essentially, they tell us, is our data really, really close together, all clumped around the center, or is it all spread out? Or really, is it somewhere in between? So we have three main measures of spread. The first one is very simple, and we've already actually worked with it a bit, and that is the range. So just a reminder, our range can be calculated with our max value minus our min value. Just thinking about that a little bit, this is going to be non-reliable. Remember that reliable means it uses all of the data entries. Since the range is only based on the maximum value and the minimum value, the range can be quite misleading. It's not a reliable measure. We do have two more reliable measures, variance and standard deviation, but they certainly take a bit longer and a bit more work to calculate. So let's jump into one of those. The variance we can start with. This measures Average deviation, deviation just meaning change, around the mean. All right, so average deviation around the mean. It's calculated differently based on whether you're working with a population data set or a sample data set. So I've got both formulas listed up there for you. Take a minute to pause the video and jot those down into your notes if you need. Don't worry about them looking a little bit complex. They're really not too bad, it's just a bunch of symbols, but also a lot of times we're gonna use technology to help us calculate these, and calculators handle these things super simply. So let's break these formulas down and see what all these pieces are. First of all, we have the lowercase Greek letter sigma, and this is in fact sigma squared, this is going to be for our population variance, and then below we'll see standard deviation in just a moment. And how we calculate that is we add up, there's our capital Greek letter sigma, we add up our deviations. Deviation just being each data value minus the mean, and then we square that value. So we add up the sum of the squared deviations and divide by the number in our population. That gives us variance for a population. For a sample, it's calculated much the same. Okay, For a sample, we use capital letter S. Still S squared here. We take the sum of our squared deviations. Here, our mean is being represented by X bar. And we divide by N minus 1. That just comes from it being a sample. It's a concept called degrees of freedom, which we won't get into right now. But a sample is calculated just a little bit differently than a population. Our third measure of spread is standard deviation. Notice here, you can see it in the formulas and in the notation, it is the square root of the variance. So variance does measure average de deviation around the mean, but the problem with variance is that everything is squared. And so we end up with squared units, and those are kind of hard to work with. So standard deviation is our square root of our variance, and it has the same units as the original data. And that makes it a lot easier to work with. So standard deviation is simply you find the variance, you take the square root of that. That gives you your standard deviation. And again, it tells us in the same units as the original data, an average deviation around the mean. Both variance and standard deviation do take all values into account. So both of them are reliable. We will often use standard deviation as our most common measure of spread. All right, there's our quick intro for our measures of spread. Catch you in the next video.